breast of lamb on the Kamado Joe today, slow cooked with loads of garden herbs. Look at those. But I should, a bit of a cheat, there's some coriander in there and a bit of uh, parsley left over from the fridge. But actually, most of this is all from the garden. Um, it's a recipe I used to do with a shoulder or a leg of lamb. It's in my book actually. So it's really literally just loads of herbs olive oil, garlic, salt and pepper. I'm actually going to add some lemon zest today. Marinate it, leave it, cook it, slice it, scoff it. That order. Pretty easy. Do you like the new surroundings today? We thought we'd take it outside into the garden. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's a lovely day. Um, sage. Okay, so this is sage. Now, this might get dull and John might move this into a montage. You never know. Really. Just picking all of the I don't want to put them in there just yet, I want to put them in the water and chop them roughly. Um, but I'm just going to go through them. So there's some sage, rosemary, okay, just going to take that off the main stick and I'm going to keep the stick and I'm just going to toss it in as well because it just adds fragrance and an aroma with me. So you don't want to don't want to waste the sticks. I always leave, I always keep them. Bay leaves, just going to chop those up as well, roughly chop. Mint. Now this is the mint from the garden. This is quite woody this stick so we don't want to chop it up but this stuff which is again left over from the pins <laughs> we will um, just actually do you know what I can chop these sticks and then I can make them as they can just do this What did you call it? Oregano. Oregano. No. no. I thought we'd go look at a map today and find a route to the oregano. <laughs> Time? What's, what? what do they call coriander? Uh, cilantro. Yeah. Aubergine's eggplants. Thyme and oregano and gold marjoram. That's in there. Again, these aren't too woody, so actually that is a bit woody, that one. So I'll just keep it, leave the steps, the steps sticks, um, separately. But these, these bits of thyme, they're not too woody. So we'll just, we'll just keep those in and chop it all together. Makes it easier. Parsley, coriander, stalks and all. There's a little bit more um, oregano. And some chives. Okay, I'm just going over a little bit because I've been attacking them. There's a bit of flour in there, a little bit old yellow bit. But again, I don't worry too much. I'm just going to chop it all very roughly. <clears throat> and shove that into a bowl, okay? You don't need to do this in the food processor. Just do it all in here because, it, again, it is rough, okay? It's not fine, finely chopped. It's beautifully rough. That's the whole point of this dish. It gets slow cooked for about two and a half, three hours. Smells coming off that already. Smells lovely. Okay, so put all these herbs into a bowl. Okay, like that. Then the stalks. Okay, they go in too. And here I've got some garlic, loads of garlic. This is a whole bowl of garlic here, which we're going to put in. Don't be scared of the garlic, okay? And don't bother unwrapping it. Just chop it again all the pieces because it's slow cooked it all just comes down in the end something quite soft so just put those in see how easy this is this is a, a plonky dish you just plonk it all in do you know what I used to call plonky men when I was a kid wrestling do you remember wrestling on Saturday afternoon John big daddy he was a big hairy one giant haystacks Gi to my nails, yeah, giant haystacks. I used to call them the plonky men because <laughs> they used to plonk down. <laughs> yeah, anyway, a bit of lemon juice, lemon zest going in. I'm not going to put juice in, just the lemon zest. Okay, the whole one, and thereabouts. It's all quiet now, just the bird song. She's not even in the bird song. Where well, they've all gone. Alright, so let's put that in. Let's just get that out. Okay, so 
but I'll just lift it a little bit, just lift the flavour. So, let's go over there. The herbs I've got, mint, coriander, oregano, mar marjoram, sage, rosemary, bay leaf, thyme, um, oh, basil, I haven't put any basil in. I've got to go and pick some basil. Sorry. That is the older basil. That's the one that's been in the pot for a little while, actually. So it's sort of slightly firmer leafed. There's a few flowers on there, that's fine. This is the newer basil, which the leaves are sort of floppier. Not quite as tough, so that all goes in. Lots of pepper. Lots of pepper. Lots and lots and lots and lots of pepper. See, I reloaded it after the other day. Um, and then a big handful of salt. Okay, show a bit more. Gallons of olive oil, okay? Just loads. Again, don't be afraid of the olive oil. This is just going to add not only flavour, but just loads and loads of delicious um, moist oil. And then we're going to cook this lamb slowly on the Kamado Joe with some water, maybe some apple juice in it underneath. So it just makes it all lovely and humid, and you're going to get this wonderfully delicious. Um, flavoured breast of lamb. A breast of lamb is really, really cheap. Okay, it's a cheap cut. We bought this rolled, so we just unrolled it. It's actually boned as well. If you want to have it on the bones, it just cooks longer. Um, and then basically, you've got ribs. Just kind of the idea. But we're doing it without the bones, so it's just one piece. So you can see that we can then cut up. So I'm just going to put half my mixture. Half a mixture in the bottom, right? Like that. Spread it all over. It's quite woody, doesn't it? But it'll be fine, I promise you. Because I'm going to let this marinate, then I'm going to scrape it all out and put it in into some foil. And then I'm going to actually think, John, I've just changed my mind. I think we might cook that in the foil just to start with to really let the herbs permeate, and then we can take it out. We'll have a little play, and you'll see later. Because it is a bit of an unknown entity, isn't it? Outside cooking. Well, it's for us anyway. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. So just, whoops, hop the breast down. I didn't realise that was actually two pieces. So let's put some, oh, there's loads here. I didn't realise it was two pieces. It was all stuck together when I unrolled it. There you go. Two for the price of one, eh? And then we'll just put the rest of this on top. my hands in. There we go. All over the top there. Lovely flavours. And actually I think, oh no, I've got lucky hands with that. I've got some more olive oil on. Okay, and I'm going to leave that as a couple of hours in the fridge. Just sort of those flavours permeate. And then I think we're going to be ready to start cooking. <laughs> And it's going on here so we're going to smoke it um well it's at a smoking temperature so it's sort of like a slow and low temperature wrapped up in the foil for a couple of hours and then i'm going to take it out of the foil once all those lovely herbs again have permeated the lamb and then i'm going to unwrap it so sort of pop it straight on the grid and let it just um carry on cooking Okay, so this has been going for two hours. I am one rum and coke in. So um, we'll see, see what, see what gives really. We'll take this off. Put it down to there. You can slam that shut. Keep the heat in. And we'll see what we've got. So I'm going to take it out now. The idea is that I take it out and pop it back on there. Mm. Oh, 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 the smell. Oh, my good Lord. Get in there. Get in there and just have a little look at this. So this is now had two hours. And I have to say, it will need longer, but it is tender. It is quite tender. Look at all those flavours. So this has been cooking for two hours in foil and everything is just permeated. All that, all that beautiful soft garlic and all of those herbs I put in, they permeated into it. And I'm now going to put this back on the, on the tomato 
but without the foil. And there's lots of juice there, which I think I'll use to baste it with. Right, I think I'll use that to baste it with during the cooking. Probably just to keep the humidity going as well. Let's pop it on very quickly. There's two pieces, so I'm going to separate them this time. And there's a drip pan just underneath. So good. And what are you going to do with those juices and the foil? I'm going to baste it. Baste it with them. Let me just put this down and work out how I'm going to do that. Because, as I said, one rum in. I suppose I've got. Have you got a turkey baster? Have you got a turkey baster? I think I could probably just lay that in. That'll be fine. Be put it right. into a jug. Yeah, something like that would be grand. Don't you worry about it. Be lovely, it's all gonna be lovely. We're gonna have that with some roasted tomatoes which are roasting in the oven. I'm gonna finish them off maybe in here and a potato salad left over from last night. Scrummy. You are a very lucky man. It's looking good. It's looking good, John. I've got a little bit of base to roux to do. Let me just focus in now at these beautiful breasts of lamb while I just pour final bits of base on top oh my goody aunt hello and all that i reckon about another 15 minutes go 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 john resplendent my breast of lamb are resplendent just going to take one off to start with i just want to show you how i can do Slice it. Winnie's quite excited about it. I got that. No, it's a pigeon. I don't even need to actually look. I don't even need to take a knife through it. It is so moist and it is so tender. And it's been cooking since five to five we put it on. And it's now eight o'clock, so that's three hours. So that's two hours in foil and then one hour out of foil. Winnie. Easy. Look at that. Just look at that. It's the most amazing piece of meat. Now, this is breast of lamb. It doesn't cost very much too. It's a really cheap cut. But, but it does like slow cooking. Mm, and with all those herbs. Oh my goodness me. And John. I'm not even that. Got some to tomatoes as well roasted and a bit of potato salad as I said from last night. Bone in scrummy. So I will put the recipe up for us. Um, but in the meantime, just watch me eat this lovely lamb. Succulent.